So having covered a few of the boats within the range, I'm just gonna walk through a few common do's and don'ts and a few tips and tricks with your boat as well to ensure obviously you look after it and obviously you get the most from your boat. First one I'm gonna cover is aftercare. Uh, we do offer servicing, um, so if you do have any problems within the time frame of your boat, you can contact us uh, for an in-warranty service or alternatively, if you are out of warranty, we do an out-of-warranty servicing as well. And to go for that, you simply contact us at Total Fish and Tackle directly. The common errors we normally see people doing are with regards to aerials and with range on their units when they're finding they're getting a drop of range. Uh, you will have noticed in some of the footage that I've been using my 740 on a tripod, this gives you the best optimum range. If you keep your hand set, your fish finder or your wrecked pilot raised off a ground level, you will improve the range you're going to get. And seven, the fish finder ranges will give you up to a 300 meter range as well. It's also very important you don't over tighten your aerials. If you over tighten your aerials, there's likelihood that you will damage the thread on the aerial or the internal aerial socket. All of the aerials need only go on to a gentle finger tension. There's no need to crank them down or tighten them up with anything externally. And the other important thing is when you are packing the boat away and you're not using the boat uh, or your fish finder is you detach your aerials from it. If the aerial's folded over when it's put away in the bag, there's damage that the weight or the pressure coming down on top of the aerial again will damage the aerial socket. And if that happens, you will find you'll suffer a big drop in range. For those of you fishing some of the really big European waters that do need a little bit of extra range or you find you are getting interference, Toslon now offer a range extending aerial which replaces your fish finder aerial on the boat. Uh, these will be available to purchase from December 2022 um, and we are just awaiting on pricing for those. Again, if you'd like to go to one of these, simply contact us directly at totalfishingtackle.com. Other common things we find is people saying they're getting condensation in their boat. The boat's internal batteries and CCUs will generate quite a lot of heat, so it is important that you let your boat air out on a regular basis. The weather today has been quite warm during the day, but we're getting cold overnight temperatures, so that is producing condensation. So for long sessions, or once you've finished a session, I would generally say to most people, leave your battery covers off once you've got the boat home in the dry and just let the boat regularly air out. If you're starting to see any condensation or fogging in the boat's headlight or around the back of the battery covers, then you do need to ensure that you're airing your boat out thoroughly. Uh, you can also place the little silica gel packs that you can buy on eBay or on Amazon, and a couple of these inside the boat under the battery compartments will help massively with condensation also. Other common trick as well, just to help maintain the longevity of your boat, is a, a tiny drop of WD-40 into your motors once every two or three months or around where the props exit on the bodywork will just help cut down on friction and ensure your boat's kept running nice and smoothly. With regards to the battery covers themselves, Again, I'd advise you, most of you carry some cotton swabs or something like that because if you get any buildup of any dirt or grit or bait deposits within or around that battery compartment seal, this will prevent your cover screwing down thoroughly. And then from there, you will not have a watertight boat, which means if you're sending her out in very rough weather, you may find you're getting some water ingress. Tips and tricks for your boat. The boat is capable of dropping a range of rigs. You can go with supple braids, Ronnie rigs, you can even drop zigs with the boat. You will have seen how I've been loading the Ronnie rigs that I've been using on some of the footage, and you'll notice I always mount so that the lead is to the rear of the boat, and I always drop with the divider in place. The reason for the divider is simply that I can drop my rig independently with minimal bait if I wish to, and if I'm dropping more bait using the other side of the hopper, I can drop this independently. So if I'm not completely happy with the initial drop, then I can obviously wind the rig in and I can reposition it should I choose to. If the boat's going out in particularly rough weather or I'm using a more supple hook link, I will use a lick and stick PVA foam nugget and I'll actually stick this to the inside hopper wall of the boat compartment and this will just stop that rig being able to move around while the boat's going out, particularly in rough conditions. Again, I will do this very similarly if I'm using a zig. I'll simply 
a right position my lead and then I will lay the zig in larger and larger coils within the center compartment of the boat and stick the actual hook and the foam to the side wall of the boat to enable that zig to fall freely through the water once those hoppers are open. If you are using tubing or you're using leaders with the boat, again, these are perfectly fine. You can actually have it so these trap and then the leader will feed out where the hoppers both meet as the divide in the middle. And this will enable those to open without interfering with your hoppers dropping. If you wish to make the boat quicker or you wish to increase the battery life on your boat, then you can do this simply by fitting a brass prop upgrade. This is again available from us at Total Fish and Tackle and we can do this in-house or we can provide you the brass props with the instructions to self-fit. This will give you an increase on speed on the boat of around 30%, which means that you can back off the throttle. And if you're using autopilot systems, it means you can reduce the speed in those units as well. And again, increase the battery life of your boat. In addition, through making the boat quicker, if you've got quite a lot of filamentous or floating weed in your water, again, the brass props will help with this massively because if they get sucked into the props, the brass props will cut through that a lot more easily. If you are unhappy to do a self fit on your brass props, again, this is something you can bring the boat down to us and we can fit in house for you, should you wish. If you would like any more information for any of the Toslon boats within the range or the fish finds or GPS systems that they offer or any of the optional extras that are available, whether that is for any of the upgraded luggage that is available or for any of the add-on features that apply directly to the boat, you can check out our website at totalfishingtackle.com or you can speak to one of our advisors and drop us an email and we will contact you back and provide any of the answers to the questions that you may have. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed these videos be lucky and let's see some fish on the bank.